hello viewers i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and today we will see that how what is user profile service and how we can configure it in sharepoint 2019 on premise environment uh, user profile service as you all know that uh, this is a service of sharepoint that is configured in sharepoint application server uh, as a separate service application uh, its purpose is to provide a central location for the administrators to configure uh, the user profiles that are uh, live synchronization of these uh, uh, user profiles from uh, Active Directory or Microsoft Azure, uh, whichever you are using in your on premise environment. Similarly, it also helps you in uh, configuring the target audiencing. Uh, target audiencing is a feature in which you can uh, specify or target a group a target uh, a group of people to a specified content or site uh, this is widely used after uh, configuring user profile service we will uh, we will practically see in our later videos what is actu what actually is target audiencing then user profile service is also used for uh, configuring my site in fact, it is the prerequisite of uh, uh, you can say configuring the my site, and uh, it's also used for social tagging and notes. That is used in publishing sites in which uh, you have uh, social collaboration platforms of SharePoint based on SharePoint 2019 on-premise environment. Here, you can effectively use the social tagging and notes uh, for this user profile service. Uh, even maintain a separate database for such purpose so uh, what will we, we will see that which type of databases sharepoint created in its uh, sql server regarding the user profile service uh, regarding user profile service uh, the uh, this service create three types of dbs the number one db is profile db uh, the second one is synchronization db and the third one is social tagging database so uh, what are its dependencies user profile service is dependent on managed metadata service which we have earlier configured in our previous video if you haven't seen that video uh, i request you to go to my channel and watch that video similarly uh, it's also uh, dependent upon the search service application if these are not configured user profile service will give some error while the configuration so this was a short uh, demonstration theoretical part of this video and now let's go into the uh, practical part i have logged in uh, in my application server as a central admin of uh, with a uh, super admin user and here i will go into the application management and from here i will navigate to manage service applications uh, you can see that uh, manage metadata service has already been created search service has already been created and some other services are created which I have created with you in my previous videos if you are a subscriber and you are watching my channel videos continuously then you must be familiar with all of these uh, because we have together configured them in uh, the video sessions so right now I'm going into new and I'm going to select the user profile service application let me tell you that whenever you create any service uh, SharePoint uh, will create separate application pools or it may also allow you to use the existing pool but it is always recommended that for a separate application which is different in nature with uh, the other ones uh, we recommend you to uh, create separate application pools so i'm going to select it as a user profile service and i'm going to name it as upc pool user profile sorry ups pool user profile service pool uh, this is my manage account i will leave it as it is profile db okay i'm going to name it as user profile db as it is going to create a separate database for it and social db will be uh, this one this one is used for uh, i have already told you in theoretical part that this is one is used for tagging purpose and uh, personal uh, will be a site manage path uh, for configuring the my site and this was all and i'm going to create it okay friends after taking some few minutes uh, profile service application has been successfully created 
uh, we are going to click OK and after clicking refresh you can see that the user profile service is created and it's working successfully if I click on user profile service to go into the details here it's uh, showing me that uh, number of organization profile is one number of user profile right now it's zero and uh, similarly it's also giving me some different type of uh, states uh, audience compilation status is idle uh, because uh, there is some jobs that are configured at the back end and they run at their own time uh, and uh, you can see their time schedule that is every saturday at 1 am okay fine uh, similarly you can go and you can configure my site here I'm I will cover this part in my upcoming videos that how you can configure my site and you can also uh, change the uh, manage user profile you can manage the user properties here let's say if I click on manage user pro profile and if I write sp19 admin uh, right now uh, it hasn't hasn't sync any active profile so that's why it's not working after uh, let's say if I go back and uh, let's say start profile synchronization start full synchronization after full synchronization it will take some time uh, because uh, it will uh, just synchronize all the active profiles from active directory or your available uh, active directory groups that are available on in your domain then afterwards it will uh, configure this number of user profiles and you can work on them okay uh, so uh, in our upcoming videos we are going to configure my sites as well and we are also going to cover all of these portions in details uh, I said I request you at last to uh, uh, subscribe my channel so that you may continue enjoying more videos of my channel so stay tuned and uh, thank you all.